Hey everyone, welcome back to another entry in the Armor Tutorial series for Arrow version 6. Today we're going to talk about our blog module. The blog module is denoted by the hashtag in the side menu here and labeled blog. So we're going to go ahead and click into the dashboard and as you can see here you're brought to four boxes. Uh, the important ones are the featured posts, the recent posts, and your drafts, but scheduled posts are also a good feature. So uh, featured posts are posts that are featured, obviously. But what this means is that they will be displayed in a custom section. Uh, for example, on the Armor Text homepage, you can see that our most recent featured posts show up right here in this blog row. So that's what these posts are. Recent posts are any recently posted blog posts in chronological order. So featured or not, they all appear here. Scheduled posts are posts that you schedule to get posted in the future. Uh, the scheduling system works on 15 minute increments. So if you schedule something to be posted at like 4.02, it will probably be posted between 4 or 4.15. And the draft system are just blog posts that haven't been posted yet. So moving away from the dashboard, the first thing we need to do when we enter almost all of these modules is visit the options page. As you can see here on this options page, it's relatively simple. We've got the summary length, which is the amount of text that shows up here in the summary, the preview of the blog post, for example, on your core blog page. How many posts to show per page, as you can see here, we're using 10. The default hero image. So the new blog system has one of these images here called a hero image for each post. You can see it behind the title on each one of these posts. If you don't upload a hero image, this is the section that will give you a default one. So it is not just a gray box. The toggle on whether or not to show the author of the post on the post. And your RSS feed settings. Every one of our blogs comes with an RSS feed. Uh, that is a feed that can be shared with other people and they can actually pull that data to use it elsewhere. It's very good for curating content. So this is just your feed title, how to end your feed after they've seen the posts and the max length, how many posts can be inside of that feed. So once you've gone ahead and made sure these options are set, the next thing to know is that under the authors tab, every one of your active staff members, everybody who can log into your system has the potential to be an author and for each author we generate a title a profile picture and a description if you so choose and then these pro author profiles get pages on the website as well as you can see here if we go into this blog post on armor this is my author profile link right here and this is the author profile so that's an option for you to have up it allows people to get to know your blog post authors a little bit better. And it's always nice to add a face to the name when it comes to marketing. So now we've got to talk about our categories and our posts. First of all, the all posts and all categories are just paginated searchable tables of that data. Here you can see all of the category titles, if they've got a brief description and you can edit and delete them with these actions. And the same is true of the posts. You can see the title, which is also the URL. So ex for example, for this one, it would be armortext.com forward slash blockchain hyphen the hyphen, etc. And that would be how you'd visit this post. Show you the category, the status, any tags that are applied to it, the date it was posted, and a couple actions. You can edit, you can view, you can feature it, or you can delete it from here. So. Uh, the first step is to make some categories for your blog. As you saw, we have a couple, so I'm not going to make one here, but the form is really easy. You just give it a name and a description and you save it. Then you'll move over to the posts. Uh, right here at the top, you can see the blog classes cheat sheet. If you or somebody you have working on your site right on your blog knows HTML, these are a few uh, HTML pieces of code that will allow you to style some elements in a default way. Otherwise, you're welcome to use this fully featured WYSIWYG editor. Uh, WYSIWYG standing for what you see is what you get. It operates a lot like Microsoft Word. And you can just type information in here. And 
and then say, like I said, you want this to be a title. All you have to do is style it a little differently and maybe make it a heading one. But it works very much like a Microsoft Word document would where you put your text in and then you use these controls to style it. Otherwise, if you are somebody who is skilled in HTML or would like to do it, clicking on this source button in the corner will bring up the HTML code for you to edit. Now on the right hand side, you can see our administrative information. First of all, there's the post title. This gets converted into the slug. So you need to make sure you're not using unsafe characters. For example, you shouldn't use question marks or exclamation points or ampersands. But if you type a title like, like that, it says my title colon the first blog post. If you look over here in the WYSIWYG editor, the link To that post will end up being something like this. So the colon is okay, but remember each word is going to get lowercase and thrown uh, a hyphen in between it to create your slug. So you want your slug to be something that can be memorable so people can come back and visit this post without having to search for it. You'll select the author as the next drop down and the post date. Uh, the post date, if it is set in the future, will schedule the post. Otherwise it will just publish it, feature it, or keep it as a draft. Keywords is the meta keywords for your post. Uh, this is something usually the marketing agency or your marketing person does. Uh, it requires research based on your topic. The tags is an internal system for categorizing posts. Uh, for example, going back to the Armour blog, you can see here at the bottom of this blog post, we've got a couple tags. We've got big data, GDPR, privacy and security. And if we click on one of these tags, you can see every blog post that has that tag within it. So it's just an additional way to organize the information in a way that makes sense to some people. The next block is the meta description. And this is again, one of those SEO pieces that is the description of your page as it will show up as the blurb when you do a Google search. You'll choose the category and a custom hero image if it's going to have one. And then you'll choose whether it's published, featured, or a draft and save it. This social media integration feature will be removed in favor of something else, which I'll show you here. If we go back to that blog post, all of our blogs now have this share bar here. And these allow people to share this blog post with a quick blurb about it straight to their social media profiles that they've got logged in, as well as send it straight in an email link. That about does it for the blog. If you have any questions or feel like I've missed anything, please feel free to email us at support at armortext.com and we'll get back to you at our, uh, to get you any information that we can and help you out a little bit. You guys are the reason that we can continue doing what we do by consuming our content. So we really appreciate that you're doing that as well. And as always, stay awesome.